This is Spencer, your Tampa Bay Wallpaper Installer with part two of the video on how to wallpaper around a very tight spot. So, what good would I do to tell you how to do it if I didn't show you the results of my own work, right? I want you to see how I did. Now, granted, this is not easy per se. But once you have the instructions, it is easy. You can do it. I can do it. Anybody can do it. If you just follow the instructions, there's always a how-to, and then once you get it. What I forgot to tell you on the first video was this. You see how, unless you're a right-handed person, this could be difficult? Now, I'm filming you. I'm filming myself. This is my left hand, but it looks like my right hand in the video. So I, I'm a lefty. This is hard for me to get in here, okay? But now most of you are right-handed people. This work is on the right-hand side of this doorway. And so for all of you, it would be easier, and then vice versa, it would be easier for me when it's in my favor. So what I want you to do in corners such as these is what you do. What's your paint? Is it semi-gloss? This stuff comes right off semi-gloss paint. Is it matte finish? That's harder. You gotta make a decision. You can let this go to the next day. Some people might say, hey, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. If you tell them, they'll understand. Ideally, you must have a sharp blade, number one, no matter when you do it. Ideally, you do this when it's stiff. You can come back to this an hour later when the moisture has evaporated, where it's not stuck to the wall. And then what I want you to do is make sure your paper, put your fingers in there, make sure that the corner is pressed really tight up against the wall corner. And then I want you to take your blade and you have to have the rest of your hand against something because this blade will go wherever, you, wherever it wants. You'll be cutting, if you don't pay attention, you'll cut right into the middle of this strip and then it looks like garbage. So what I want you to do is Guide your hand down here in such a way. Now you see, it's hard to get a scraper in there. It's very hard. You're not gonna be operating at the right angle if you put a scraper in there. A scraper, a, gu a guide, an edge, whatever you wanna call it. So really, look at how I'm using these knuckles. Watch this. Watch this. Do you see how I'm using, well you can't really see it. Watch where my knuckles go. My blade's four inches above my knuckles, but my knuckles keeping the paper in place. And then you just sharp blade now. You come down and you're looking like this. You're looking, you're looking. And you guide it all the way down. Don't take the blade off the corner. See, I'm watching as I do this. Watch this. All the way down. And guess what? Perfect cut. Don't do an unprofessional thing and leave the paper on the unseeable part of this wood. Because if your customer is smart, they're going to look there anyway. And if I'm running the job, I'm gonna fire you if you do that because you got wallpaper and you left it on their woodwork. I've seen that, looks garbagey. Now in a really tight spot when this is a door frame and it's right up against the woodwork, that's forgivable because you can't see it. But in this case, it's not forgivable because this, this, this is about two and a half inches of wood. If you leave wallpaper up against there, it doesn't look good. But theoretically, you could, and it does, it's not going to look right. You need to cut it like a pro and get your knife in there and have confidence that you can do it. Anyway, that is my tip for you. And this is Spencer, your Tampa Bay wallpaper installer, coming to you from the Tampa Bay area in sunny Florida. If you like the video, click on like. Subscribe to my channel. Share it with a friend. If you have an easier way to do this, let me know. We share information. We learn from each other. That's the best way to go. Thank you. See you on the next one. If you want to reach me, I am at 813-666-7002 Eastern Standard Time. Keep that in mind. Thank you. Have a great day.